How are you guys? This is a video to how to install your uh, new setup uh, SD card for the Steam Deck. Uh, of course, you will receive, if you order the 4 terabyte, you will receive the uh, 4 terabyte for uh, one for console, one for PC, and one for um, handle. Uh, you will also receive a pocket that will go on the back of the uh, your uh, wonderful Steam Deck. You will receive the uh, one terabyte SD card. Uh, you will receive some, uh, it's an adapter to, if you need to convert your uh, USB tree to uh, type C. All right, you will receive that. Uh, also a packet to uh, use to, uh, for traveling, make your adapter, SD card, and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so let's move them. You will receive a manual also. Um, and also, just before I start the, the tutorial, if you need any help, you can go to the, uh, uh, at the Discord. Uh, on Discord, I have an up-to-date tutorial, picture, video, and stuff like that S for your understanding. Uh, I have a big wiki for RetroBees on Discord. Also, I will provide you a Dropbox link. Uh, you can use that to uh, access all the wiki. And also, you will have a print uh, manual. Okay, so, uh, and also, you can use on your deck for the drive uh, a duct like this one so you can provide uh, you can have the power and also you can plug your uh, external HDD you can use it also don't use if you have one with SD card don't use my SD card there it goes it, uh, the SD card goes uh, on the Steam Deck right there do not use you can use the SD card but for your own uh, SD card uh, yeah, buy a good one, do not buy a cheap one. You need uh, to get all the power and the faster uh, connection you can have. Uh, the drive can be plugged if you don't use, uh, if you do not use uh, a power because it's a handle and you want to play, uh, you know, freely. Uh, so the packet's gonna go there. You put your drive in the packet. It's very uh, tight very very tight the glue is going to stick no problem but it's removable if you want to uh, remove it for whatever the reason it's a removable uh, glue on uh, on the back that's the way I, I put it so you put your drive inside and you can connect your drive directly to the usb port the type c or if you're using the, the Type-C adapter, but you plug your drive in the uh, Type-C uh, hub right there. So you, you still have option, no problem. Give me a second. I just need to change, uh, to read the, the manual as... Okay, so basically you turn off your... Um, your handle, if you want to, uh, the first step is to, uh, you shut down your uh, Steam OS, all right? And when you see no light, you can, where's my SD card? Okay, this is the SD card you will have. Face up, the color up, because there is a black side, color up. And you push it. It's a, I don't know how to say that in English. It's like a spring, a pressure. Uh, all right. And it should look inside. Like flush inside. All right. So now, for the first boot, you keep your finger on the volume uh, down. You press, uh, I think, two, three seconds. I think you can hear a sound or something. Two, three seconds. Oh. I think I pressed too long. I saw something. Yeah, I pressed too long. I, I think I closed it down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, volume down. One, two, let's say it's two seconds. 
Yeah, two seconds. Keep your finger. Okay, you will see a bunch of... Um, uh, th this is one of them. This is all your uh, device connected to your uh, Steam. Okay. For, so for the Retro Bees, you need to go down to the SD MMC card. All right. And you press enter. All right. It's possible on the first boot, uh, you will see uh, a window turning, but uh, underneath is gonna say um, uh, pairing device for the first time and stuff like that. Let it do its job. So it's very simple. I do not touch your uh, actual uh, Steam OS. So nothing's gonna change on your Steam OS. So now I have nothing plugged in it, only the uh, SD card. Yeah, it's possible you will see a pairing device or working on your device or something like that. The first boot sometimes take longer than the second boot. That's the Ritual Bees. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using a mouse now because it's simple. You can do so. You can plug a cable mouse or, uh, uh, or you can pair a Bluetooth one. On your first boot, RetroBees won't boot the, the game uh, launcher because I'm going to show you, you need to do uh, a few steps just one time. So let's cancel. It's you're gonna be, you're gonna have a, like a, a Steam cannot boot the, the Retro Beast because you have to log in on the, the Steam Deck. I'm gonna close the, uh... okay, what you're gonna do? Uh, what you're gonna do for the first time? You're gonna boot the Steam from the taskbar here on the bottom. Okay, if you have any pop-up or stuff like that, just close it. You can use your finger or you can use the, uh, the mouse pad here. You have the both side click, or you can pair, or you can connect a wire uh, mouse. So boot Steam. You need to create an account or to uh, log in with your actual account. It doesn't matter because the Steam, uh, 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 RitualBees only use the Steam and your account to boot the RetroBees and to make all the button works. So RetroBees needs Steam to work on the background to make sure um, the controller works. If the RetroBees launch without the Steam on the background, no button's gonna work, all right? So you will have, you need to create an account, all right? Now I'm logged in. But you will have a window with, uh, would you like to create an account or uh, to uh, log in? So you input your uh, name and password. So after that, when you are logged in, leave the Steam Deck uh, uh, running, uh, not the Steam Deck, the, well, the Steam application running, just minimize it, all right? Now you're logging on Steam Deck. First step. Second step, open the, the apps from your corner. Open apps. Sometimes you have to click two times on apps. Go to G. Uh, uh, this one. G O S C. Uh, okay, this one. This is the application that pair RetroBees to the Steam. You don't need have to do this one time, okay? So click on it, uh, Windows gonna open. Now it's gonna pair, see the RetroBees, Beast Universe. Now just click add to, win, to, uh, add to Steam. 
but Steam has to be uh, has to run on the background now. Okay, so just click on it. Is you you will have a pop up. Uh, this one will be add the the Beast Universe gonna be add to Steam Deck. Click yes. Click OK. Now it's rebooting the the Steam. And you will have the uh, Beast Universe shortcut on the Steam. Now Steam, uh, when Steam boot on the window, is always checking for update. Okay, click OK. Close the close the window. Uh, if you want, I just forgot to mention before you create your account on Steam. Uh, you need to uh, to right click on the Wi-Fi. You need to connect your Wi-Fi. Uh, if you don't want to use Wi-Fi after, it's fine. But you need for the uh, the login Steam uh, and create account. You need your Wi-Fi first. All right. So I forget to mention. Just go to a network and pair your uh, Wi-Fi. All right. After that, so. First, you need to create your uh, connect your Wi-Fi, create create or login to Steam, pair with the uh, GOSC uh, application, and you're ready to go. Now, if you go to library, forget the two game I got there. That's my personal game, but you will have the Beast Universe. Okay. Now you can start it manually, but every time you're gonna boot window. You don't have to boot it manually, it's gonna boot automatically. But I'm just showing you if you need to stop it or restart it or boot it, you always boot the Beast Universe from the, the Steam. And that's it. Now see my button should work. If I press the D-pad, everything works like, uh, like a Xbox, all right? So now I'm gonna reboot the device to show you. So now all game works. So I close it, it's gonna boot. Every time you close Retro Beast, the Beast Universe boot. You can close it with the, uh, all right? So Steam, you just need Steam to run on the background. That's it. You don't need, uh, if you want to install game or stuff like that, you can do it. But uh, I only uh, use Steam to make the button work. Okay, let's reboot it. I'm gonna show you what can happen. Uh, restart. So there is two situations when you reboot. Uh, it depends on the, the, your Wi-Fi. Uh, if you're using the Wi-Fi, because Steam has, uh, when you boot the window, Steam has to boot, all right? And you need to log in, all right? So you need to, the Wi-Fi to be connected after the Steam's gonna be connected and it's gonna boot, uh, it's gonna boot the uh, uh, Beast Universe automatically. But if you have problem uh, with your Wi-Fi, what you do when you have the pop-up, the Steam pop-up says, uh, we try to connect, uh, there is no connection is gonna give you the option to uh, log in offline mode. So that's why you don't need the offline, uh, the Wi-Fi. So you can log in to Steam uh, in offline mode and Ritubi is gonna boot. So never shut it down, uh, never long press on the power, never, never, let, let it do its um, rotation, you know, if you restart. Because I know some people, they're gonna press, if you press the power very long time, it's a, f a fast power off, it's not good. Always do a restart and wait for the, the full circle, all right? Now, you don't have to press the volume and power, it's gonna, uh, if you wanna go to Retro Beast. It's gonna go to Retro Beast automatically. If you want to go back to your Steam OS, you press your volume down and power and you choose your SteamOS uh, drive. Easy like that. So now I'm not touching anything, just showing you. So there is two uh, possibility. It's gonna boot to RetroBeast, no problem, or it's gonna ask me to uh, go offline. 
just because the Wi-Fi was not connected before the Steam login. <coughs> that can happen. Sometimes I'm lucky, I reboot and everything works fine and sometimes I have a pop-up. So now see, Steam is booting. Now I try to connect to the internet. See, my Wi-Fi was not connected. I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be connected in a few seconds. But if you wait for the Wi-Fi, you can retry connection if you really want to be uh, online on your Steam that you don't really need. Now my Wi-Fi is connected, see? So I can do retry connection or start, start in offline mode. But because I'm the Wi-Fi work, I can say retry connection. But whatever the option, it doesn't matter. Retrobe is gonna work and all your buttons gonna work perfectly. It doesn't matter uh, online or offline. You just need the online option if you really want to uh, play your Steam game from the Steam. But not even. I think you can play all your game anyway offline. Doesn't matter. Okay? Sometimes you're lucky you don't have the option for offline and online. It's going to boot automatically to Retrobeast because the Wi-Fi was connected just before the Steam connection. Okay? Easy like that. Uh, what else I didn't talk about? So I talk about the connection. Oh yeah, the setting in Steam. Sorry. I have to talk about the setting in Steam. There is picture on the site, on the manual. Well, I'm gonna show you. There is a few settings that you need to set just one time on your Steam. Uh, so Steam, if you go on the left corner, Steam, setting uh, on your account you have to uncheck this one it says um, uh, don't save account credential on this computer you need the account credential to be saved so you uncheck it all right because you need to have the retrobeast boot automatically so you need your account um, after that is the which one is interface? Yes. No, not interface. Library, I'm gonna find it. Ah, uh, the in-game. You're gonna go in-game. You really have, you need this to be checked. Use the big picture overlay. Okay, this one has to be checked. This one on check, on check. So you need to be like this one, okay? And after that, you need to go to controller. Uh, click on general controller. You need to have your uh, button as an Xbox. Is that this one? Uh, desktop configuration. General controller, it should be this one. Why oh, doesn't boot? Desktop configuration. Oh yeah. If you want, you can uh, remap some button if you want. But uh, it's not this one I want to show you. It's the one, it should be this one. Yeah, this one, the first one. See, you need to have the uh, Xbox configuration support check. All right. So if you have the same setting as mine, everything should work uh, normally, all right? If you need more in deep uh, control feature you want to change, uh, you can change. There is a lot of configuration to remap uh, your button as you like. Depends on the game or the PC game you want to play. You can play with it, but if you don't want, everything should work uh, properly. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, you just need to log in to Steam one time to uh, open GSOC one time to pair, um, to pair the RetroBeast to the Steam. 
And after, just follow the, the setting I just showed you new and everything is ready to go. After that, if you have Steam running on the background, you can boot the Retro Beats from the desktop also, like this. Because now your controller uh, will work. Okay, you will see if Steam, do Steam doesn't work. Okay, let's say uh, no button works. Um, you need to go back to Steam library, go to the Beast Universe. You have to stop the process. If you have no control respond, you stop it, you wait, and you just reboot from Steam. As long as Steam is running on the background, you can boot the Ritual Beast from the desktop. So now my button works. See, I can boot Ritual Beast from there or the desktop. Also, you have the wiki here. You have all the information, wiki general, control. You should read it. All the shortcut, how to save, load, quit. Everything is explained, a few fix. Auto boot, uh, stuff like that, some video. Uh, if you need more information and uh, support, just uh, text us on uh, the Discord. So it's easy like that. Uh, and also, it's possible, maybe not now when you're gonna, um, uh, you will have a pop up. Uh, right there on your right corner uh, it's, it's gonna be righted window need to be activated you should have this pop-up it's gonna take a few hours maybe one day uh, maybe after another reboot you will have the window activation you have to show you can go to wiki uh, is it fix yeah you go to fix window activation uh, there is a video tutorial. You click on the activate window CMD and you need a keyboard for that. Everything is explained. You press one, you press one, you press W uh, and after it's finished, it's gonna be, your window's gonna be activated. If you need a keyboard, there is a keyboard uh, right there on the, the window uh, shortcut, all right? So everything is explained on the wiki. Just press one, one another time, W, and after you exit and uh, your window is gonna be activated. Um, you will have uh, uh, all your drive updated uh, via Sync Recovery every month, but there is no C window drive update from my sync recovery. So what you need to do every month, you press on the window, uh, sorry, setting, and you update your window from the window update. You do all your update. Uh, after that, you click on the driver booster. It's gonna scan everything. It's gonna update your uh, CPU, GPU, all components. So you, you make it uh, search and you click OK to update uh, all the driver you need. Uh, also, you need if you want to clean your PC, CCleaner, you click the first one, you, do let, you click start, you click the second one, analyze and uh, clean, and the register. Do not use the driver from there. Just the registry, clean the registry, and you're ready to go. So that's the way you update your uh, C drive. Driver booster, window update. And also, if you're gonna use the, uh, only the window uh, uh, Retro Beast, all right? It's important to go back to your Steam OS. You just shut down your uh, Steam OS. Uh, you press the volume down. You press the volume two seconds. It's important because uh, SteamOS, they have uh, often an update for the SteamOS that make the, the window uh, version work. Uh, some, they have some fix and stuff like that for the, the peripheral. So it's important to go back to your SteamOS 
uh, drive and uh, make sure everything is up to date also. Uh, let me check uh, window activation. Uh, never unplug drive. When you're gonna plug the four terabyte, never unplug it. Always go to the, um, you have to eject, but you have two options. You can power off your system and unplug it. It's gonna work or here. You go to this, uh, you right click and you click, you eject your drive. When it's ejected, uh, you can unplug your uh, four terabyte and put another four terabyte. Okay, never force everything. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, and if you wanna uh, need more information about the controller and, and extra information, everything is on the wiki and in the Discord. Uh, everything is explained. And you have to text me to get the sync recovery update. You need to text me uh, at chriscoolmod.com and give me your team viewer and I will update your uh, sync recovery. So every month you will be able to update your uh, four terabyte uh, game and D drive for fix, emulator update, app update, uh, any update I'm gonna do. Uh, you can read the log at Discord. Everything I change and I add and I fix will be written on the, the Steam Deck uh, log. All right. All right, thank you guys for watching. This is Chris Coolmug. And uh, that's the easy, uh, and you can use your finger on the screen if you want. And see, everything will work perfectly. If you need the D-pad, the button, everything work on the Xbox. And those two buttons on window doesn't work. The Steam button doesn't work and this one doesn't work. But all the rest uh, work perfectly. Thank you guys for watching. If you have more questions, join uh, Discord and uh, ask your question on Discord. Thank you very much, guys.